Here's a brief video which describes how to enter your answer to problem two from the pre-lecture problems. Uh, some people were having issues with the syntax, and that's understandable since WebAssign can be kind of annoying about such things. So on this problem, I'm not going to tell you how to find the answer. I'm just going to tell you what the answer is. The first interval, which is in the domain of this function, is negative infinity to three. Now to enter that into WebAssign, after putting a left parenthesis and a negative symbol, there's this calc pad infinity symbol. And so that will go to negative three. Now that's the first interval on which this function is defined. The second is from negative three to three. And in order to put more than one interval, there are these set operations here, a U and an upside down U. This U right here, if you scroll over, it says union. And that means it could be this or it could be the next set. So before typing the next set, click on one of those unions. And then there's a third set, so we click union again. And the third interval is zero to infinity, or three to infinity, excuse me. So we do that. And that is how you enter answers using the calc pad and answers which require you to enter multiple intervals.